Carmen, Bill Graham, Davey Pearl. Our third man in the ring, Carlos Padilla. In the red corner to my right, wearing blue trunks with white trim, at 140 and a half pounds from Lorain, Ohio, with a record of 28 wins, two losses, two draws, 12 wins by knockout, the current USBA lightweight champion, Carl Stump Griffith. There's Carl Griffith then, and this is probably the biggest night of his career. Wearing black trunks with gold trim, at 142 pounds, Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, a professional record of 43 wins, 9 losses, 28 big wins by knockout, former two-time champion of the world, Roger Black Mamba Mayweather. And there's the Black Mamba, and he's seen it all before. And ironically, Griffith was just 11 years of age when Mayweather turned pro way back in 1981. So a dozen years he's been at the top, Roger Mayweather. And straight enough, got his first title fight and then his fifth fight. And that was a first round knockout loss to Rocky Lockridge for the uh, Super Featherweight Championship. He's had some tough nights as Roger. And we saw, of course, that last one against Zach Padilla in April. And Padilla just punched far too often for Mayweather. 32 years of age now. Carl Griffith coming up to 23. Mayweather still knows his way around these rings. That uh, win over Razai Bramble, the former lightweight champion, was indeed impressive. Five rounds. In fact, it was down as a disqualification win. Um, Bramble's corner man leapt in the ring. And unfortunately, it robbed Mayweather of a deserved stoppage victory. And Carl Griffith, of course, well, we saw that uh, seventh round stoppage win over Roland Cummings in May. What a bad cut. Ooh, good right from uh, Mayweather. Got a little smile to the face of Carl Griffith. In fact, it wasn't as easy as some people think that Roland Cummings fight because Griffith was quite badly marked up around both eyes. And prior to that, of course, that tough 10-rounder with Sergei Artemiev for the USBA Championship. The only goal, of course, on Mayweather's mind is another crack at a version of the World Championship. And with so many around, you wouldn't have thought it would be that difficult. And, of course, the IBF champion Charles, the natural Murray, Juan Koji. Is the WBA champion and even Mayweather said he'd like to fight Chavez again which he's done twice of course and this is from the black member's mouth himself he said and I quote he'll be welterweight champion after he meets Pernell Whitaker and that's good enough for me so approaching the final 30 seconds of this opening round and I think Roger Mayweather has landed enough of those stiff straight left so far to have kept Griffith at bay. It's very game though, Carl Griffith. Griffith's going to have here is coping this vast experience of Roger Mayweather. Good round there for Roger, I think. So, ten points to him, nine to Carl Griffith, who's picked up a cut on the left eye as well. Well, not a good start for him. Possibly those right hands from Mayweather have done that. And uh, 52 fights now Mayweather's had since 1981 and that's a lot a lot of action Griffiths had 32 though and he's only been a pro since 88 so he's been busy okay. 
And in 85, Mayweather had his second title shot. He fought Julio Cesar Chavez and was knocked out in two rounds. That was for the featherweight championship. Actually won the light worldweight championship against Rene Arredondo in November of 87. He knocked Arredondo out in six. And uh, retained his championship first time out against Mauricio Sievers, who actually fought Luton's Billy Schwer in London. Round two then. Mayweather looks like his uh, better boxing skills have taken the opener. A bit low there from Mayweather. And he does know his way around these rings, does Roger. Boxing brother Jeff. Younger and not quite as talented. Moving left hook from Griffith. But don't forget he's got that cut on the left eye now, Carl Griffith. So not only has he got to concentrate on getting to Mayweather, but he's also got to protect that cut. But he's not a devastating hitter either, Carl Griffith. He throws lots of punches normally if he can pin a man down long enough. And that's going to be his trouble here getting a position where he can actually hit Mayweather with more than one punch at the time. Well, that wasn't a bad effort. A big looping over our right from Carl Griffith. Ooh, good shots from Mayweather. Down goes Griffith when you don't often see him on the floor. And those two losses have been controversial, but that was a pretty decisive knockdown. So up at seven, then Griffith continues. So this is going to give Roger Mayweather a lot of confidence. Not that he didn't have enough coming into this match. He certainly did. And Mayweather just threading that jab through. And Griffith has got no answer whatsoever. And, of course, Mayweather believing, well, if the first one will land, so will the second. And he does move in behind it nicely. Long arms. In fact, Mayweather's had ten world title fights in his career so far. Desperately hoping for number 11. And he's having a good time here so far against Carl Griffith. Couldn't have hoped for a better start. Griffith on the floor in this second round from a chopping shot. And now Mayweather tormenting Griffith with that left jab. And talking to him as well. Good round for Mayweather. That's a two-point round for him. In fact, that knockdown. Good right hand. Delayed action, really. And a bit of a nose-to-nose -nose at the end of the second. So already Mayweather's got 20 points and uh, poor old Carl Griffith has dipped to 17, so three behind with only two rounds gone. Well, I'll give you a measure of Mayweather's confidence. Um, Las, Las Vegas books mate, bookmaker Herbie Lembeck thought six to five against both men would be okay, but uh, Billy Baxter, Mayweather's former manager, put an awful lot on Roger Mayweather to win this one, which has actually put the odds in favour of... Roger Mayweather, and again, the right hand. And so far, Mayweather living up to those odds. And Mayweather actually said coming into this, I might lose a fight this year, but it won't be my next one, i.e. this one. So, brimming with confidence. And I'm not so sure that Griffith has got what it takes to budge this wily old campaigner. So the USBA lightweight champion then, Carl Griffith, having a few problems to solve against a very sharp looking Roger, the Black Mamba Mayweather. And Mayweather talking and taunting the younger Carl Griffith. And Zach Padilla, the Filipino referee. Mayweather just so capable, isn't he? He can be hurt, though. And 
And uh, Carl Griffiths has got a younger brother, boxes called Mike. Was actually six wins on the spin the night that uh, Griffiths boxed against um, Artemiev. Inside the final minute of round three, then. And still Mayweather very much in command here. And it looks like Griffith might have a bit of damage to his nose. And it's certainly reddened and looks a bit misshapen from here. Oh, and again, that lovely overarm right from Mayweather. And that's going to do that cut on Griffith's left eye. No good at all. And Griffith failing to get through with that combination. Well, normally, of course, we know Griffith is the kind of fighter who just pummels away at opponents. And eventually, they get weakened and broken up, but uh, not having the same kind of success here against Mayweather, that's for sure. The man isn't there when you go to hit him. And that's causing all sorts of problems. And Mayweather still talking, still taunting. And once again, well, we're going to get the standoff. <laughs> and Griffith very sensibly not reacting there. Another round for the Mamba. Into the fourth. And now Griffith is four points adrift on my card. This looks like it could be an absolute rout for Mayweather, unless Griffith, of course, can slow him down with some body punches. But it's getting in there. Look how well Mayweather does protect his body. You can't get to him with a straight right to the body, so you've got to go in with a left hook. And, uh, well, Rod will catch you as you do. And he's loving it. Talk to me, he's saying. And he's completely psyched old Griffith out of this. And again, a lovely shot. No contest, says Mayweather. And a win, of course, over Griffith won't necessarily get Mayweather a championship shot. He might have to fight an eliminator, but uh, won't do him any harm. And he really is tormenting the man from Lorraine, Ohio. Mayweather, of course, the local man from Las Vegas. And winning this one at a canter at the moment. It must be awfully intimidating for Griffith. Griffith has had his moments in his... Uh, career so far I beat the former IBF champion Harry Arroyo also beat uh, Som Song and he was a tie boxer very very strong but Griffith knew far too much for him but simply hasn't mixed in the same kind of company as Mayweather and that's so obvious here this is a completely different class especially when you consider Mayweather's temperament for this match. Absolutely spot on. Well, Griffith scored, and Griffith's got a support here. Well, he hasn't managed to capitalise so far. Mayweather tying him up now. Well, it's the best thing so far that Griffith has done, but not quite enough. Mayweather shaken but not stirred. Well, you can't give the round to Griffith, and, uh, well, Rogers' legs are a bit rubbery on the way out in the corner. He had a brief 10 or 15 second spell when Mayweather was in trouble, but uh, throughout the round, Roger Mayweather once again speared Carl Griffith. Some nice-looking punches. Here we go, that's the left hook. But 15 seconds in a round does not warrant winning it. Not for me, it doesn't.
And in fact, very few of those punches that Griffith threw actually landed. Granted, a couple did. So, into round five. And now we'll probably see Griffith chance his arm. Feeling like he can hurt the former two-time champion. Well, Griffith doesn't want to get too cocky. Mayweather will make him pay for that. And Griffith's fans are delirious now. They might be sensing he's on the edge of a recovery. Not too sure myself. But it does actually go to prove that uh, Roger Mayweather has not got the stiffest chin on this earth these days. I said before that Griffith is not a devastating puncher. Of his 28 wins, he's only stopped 13 men. That's not a great ratio. But certainly hurt Mayweather with a left hook. Possibly Roger a little bit complacent, thinking, well, I've got things all my own way. And that long left lead of Roger Mayweather's is one of the reasons they call him the Mamba. And ironically, the Black Mamba, the snake, a little bit of uh, natural history for you, is actually grey, and quite a light grey at that. But that left jab shoots out like a snake's tongue and jerking Griffith's head back. And Mayweather's had to be on his guard a wee bit here in the fifth. This is like the teacher and the student. As if Mayweather saying, this is how you do it. And I'm afraid I don't like Carlos Padilla as a referee. Never have done. Don't know the man, but uh, nothing personal. Oh, a right again from Griffith, but uh, that time not with the same kind of dramatic effect as the left hook at the end of the other round, the previous round, but uh, still Mayweather boxing very nicely. Lots of nice long jabs there to take the round, the fifth, but uh, only got hit once there. So I still haven't given a round against Mayweather coming into the sixth. And uh, Griffith, well, he's falling four further behind. Six points now adrift, I think. You could be generous, I suppose, and give him a share of round four. But not much more. And I didn't, in fact. Well, I suppose at this point we've got to wonder whether Roger Mayweather will be looking to finish Carl Griffith or be prepared to punish him for the full ten rounds. This six round, of course, the halfway point. And again, that jab working beautifully. And he can win a fight with a good left hand, and nothing more. Remember Joey Singleton, former British light waterweight champion, had not much more than a good pair of feet and a long left hand. but if you know how to use it, superb weapon. And then to hook off the jab, which we've not seen Roger do just yet. Once again, a glancing left hook then from Griffith. And those long spindly arms, just impossible to get by, aren't they?
Oh, lovely left hook from Mayweather. That one caught Griffith coming in, and his nose is definitely damaged. I'd say it was busted. Certainly misshapen on the left-hand side. And now blood pouring from that cut. But if Griffith is not game, he's nothing. It's as game as they come. But being outclassed, outboxed, out fought, out punched here by Mayweather. And this is almost surgical precision. Another great round this for Mayweather. Griffith though still trying. Sixth round. And once again, Roger Mayweather showing what he's made of. And the problem now for Carl Griffith, I've got him seven points behind with four rounds remaining. And he needs knockdowns in all of these last four rounds to win, as well as winning the rounds comfortably, which I don't think he's capable of. Or, of course, a knockout wouldn't go amiss here for Griffith. He's got past the point where he needs one. But that is so unlikely. When you think that uh, two of Mayweather's stoppage or knockout losses have come at the hands of uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, Rocky Lockridge in his good days or great days, the hard punching Freddie Pendleton as well. No one else has done it, and it'll take, I think, a lot bigger puncher than Carl Griffith to beat Mayweather via that route in this match. Although we've seen Mayweather wobble by a left hook. Possibly, actually, Griffiths has come into this fight believing that uh, he could hurt Mayweather and sustain the hurt, but the problem is he hasn't. And consequently, he's been has had his nut boxed off, basically, past halfway in the seventh. Well, Mayweather, Mayweather, they're very cheekily holding and talking to his corner. He's not under any problem at all, or any pressure but just need to keep, keep his concentration of this last few rounds. And ironically, it's actually Mayweather that's beginning to hold now. Feeling possibly he's built enough of a lead and just needs to protect it. Mayweather throws that left hand almost from the side. to the good old block and parry that we used to see so much in the olden days they weren't too long ago were they but now the fighters they don't seem to block or parry punches they do slip them of course and move out of the way but uh, I don't know something seems to have changed but this left hand so far of Mayweather has been an absolute treat But at 32 years of age, you've got to wonder how long those legs would last against a top-class fighter. Well, he's now eight points adrift on my card. Don't forget, he lost the second by a four, two points. Carl Griffith hit the deck as well as losing the round quite heavily. This is round eight into the home straight. course this is where I think it's going to be the stickiest for Mayweather because uh, Griffith will surely realize at this point or in fact long ago that he needed a knockout to win this and he's been looking for that big punch
We're looking at a master boxer in action here. Somewhat faded master, but nonetheless, he's uh, really the boss, isn't he? from Griffith, that's what he's looking for but uh, one punch is not going to be enough here against Mayweather and that beautiful left hand nearly as good as mine was So it looks like Mayweather's going to bounce back exceptionally well after that loss last time out to Zach Padilla. Who's, of course, the WBA champion now. He beat Carlos Bolilo Gonzalez. And if it wasn't for that uh, split decision loss, the chances are that Mayweather would have had his chance against Gonzalez and possibly won. I'm not too sure. 20 to go in the eighth. And I hate to say it, but I haven't given a round so far to Griffith. And talk about a boxing lesson, that's what he's getting here. And talking about past masters, any fans of Mike McCallum can see him boxing in action at, at the Hammersmith Apollo on Saturday the 14th of August. Anthony G and Left Right Promotions are putting that one on. Get down there, see it. Nine fight bill, great value. And of course the old master, Mike McCallum. And Griffith comes out for the penultimate round with a thumping right hand. And the other one was just deflected by a lifted shoulder there from Mayweather. What's happened? Well, obviously Padilla's eyes are deceiving him. He's jerked his head back. That must be ter in fact I know it is it's awfully sickening for Carl Griffith who every time he takes a forward move that left jab just thumps into his face just like it's attached by a piece of elastic and any of you fighters out there if you ever want to demoralize the man in front of you try throwing a left hand the way Mayweather does and with the same kind of regularity Mayweather's dominance has been really supreme here. Of course, he expected Griffith to keep coming, to keep throwing punches. But Roger Mayweather looking very cool. And this is turning out to be one of the easiest fights, in fact, I think he's had for a while. I suppose one pointer to the way this match would go was how Bramble was beaten by Mayweather and by on point of course by Carl Griffith but uh, stopped or officially disqualified against Mayweather oh lovely uppercut look at that just found a bit of room I said take that well he doesn't want to stave off Griffith here with that extend, extended left hand needs to use his feet Although at 32 years of age, it's not too easy over 10 rounds. And Griffith trying desperately hard. But 
uh, the piston goes back to work. And I think the only thing we've got to wonder now is what the score of Mayweather's win or the distance and the margin of his win will be. I'll be very surprised if the, all three judges don't give him 100 points. Well, a desperate effort from Griffith at the end, and Mayweather still mouthing. Get out of here, Roger, they say. Don't need to torment him any further. So into the uh, final round, round 10, three minutes to decide this. And a 10-point gap so far, as far as I'm concerned, for Roger Mayweather. Oh, and Padilla there getting booed by this Las Vegas crowd. Their hero threatening to have a point deducted. Little left hook from Mayweather, but uh, Griffith gritting his teeth. Oh, beautiful punch. A leading left uppercut from Roger Mayweather. And this is the kind of action, really, that Griffith needed right from the very off. But uh, only getting through simply because Mayweather's tiring now. Had nearly a minute of the tenth and final round. And expect Griffith to rush in. Gets tied up, though. Oh, and that was low. And 10 out of 10, really, for Griffith's effort. But uh, he's not got too far with it. He had one chance, remember? In the fourth round, a left hook staggered Mayweather, but he's not capitalised since. Past halfway. And it takes a brave man to go forward, knowing that uh, he's going to walk on to spiteful, wicked jabs like this. Well, looks like the bookmaker is going to have to pay out quite heavily as well. As I say, Mayweather came into this fight a slight favourite. And Griffith was even money. And that looks like rubbery at this point. But he's having a go. Just over 30 seconds to go in this final round. And Griffith trying to turn this one around with one big punch. And Mayweather must be wondering... How much longer is there to go? Of course, this 30 seconds doesn't last long enough for Griffith, but it lasts a long time for Mayweather. Well, we can't get a knockout now. It's too late. You cannot get counted out at the end of the final bell, at the end of the last round. It's all over. Well, that's the way it should be. Mayweather tormented and tilted Griffith after every round almost, but then at the finish, acknowledged a brave loser, I think. Well, I've got that one, 100 points to 90. Sorry, my apologies, 100 to 89 in favour of Roger Mayweather. I didn't give a round against him, and I couldn't find myself giving Carl Griffith a share of any of them either. As I say, if you can't get down to the Hammersmith Apollo tomorrow night, you could uh, not do much better than sit in front of your sets for more boxing action on Eurosport as we await this decision. As I say, I've got Griffith winning by 11... Sorry, Mayweather winning by 11 points. Judge Davy Pearl scored about 98-93. Ooh, that's Patricia close. Jarman scored Seven about rounds to two, one even. Judge Bill Graham Three rounds scored to about 95-93. The winner by unanimous decision, Roger Black. Well, Mamba he won it. Clearly.